Hey guys, so uh, first question is, as I'm unable to get to a professional hairstylist, do you have any tips on how best to cut one's own hair? I think um, home haircuts can look fantastic on some people. I think it can look punky and a bit off. It's always going to look like you've done it yourself, um, which is something that I really like personally um, on certain people. I think if you want it to look neater and want it to look more professional, just hold off. You're going to be back in that um, salon chair before you know it. It's going to be here. Um, just have a little bit of patience. Use a nice hair mask treatment. L'Oreal do this mythic oil um, uh, range, which is fantastic. And uh, you can look into that. There's loads of things that you can do. Look into styling, styling your hair maybe a little bit different. Um, but just be patient. Sorry. So question two is, uh, what's the biggest challenge you've ever faced in the world of hair? Do you know what? One of the biggest challenges is um, doing a perfect ponytail. I know that that might sound absolutely mental, but it's so hard to do the perfect ponytail. And I'm quite neurotic anyway, um, and a little bit of a control freak. So um, trying to get that ponytail just right is so hard. Okay, question three is, uh, what's the most memorable project you've worked on with J.W. Anderson? Um, there's quite a few, but I think the one that really stands out for me is the one time I got sent a reference from Benjamin uh, Bruno, the stylist, amazing stylist um, at, for J.W. Anderson. And it was a Lego, um, a Lego man with like the Lego hair the reference and um we did it and it looked really good but in the beginning I was just like how the hell am I gonna do that <laughs> I mean we did and it looked really good okay question four is how do you get your ideas for hair um just by keeping my eyes open I guess I mean I look everywhere I look at everything um from horror films to bus stops to my hometown where I'm from, you know, there's still these uh, old dears uh, going to the bingo halls, teasing their hair up and stuff that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, and not really ever, ever kind of saying no in my mind to anything, always kind of giving it a second chance in my head, like, is it bad or is it good? Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's, I, I kind of get my inspiration from everywhere. Okay, so question um, five is, what's your favourite restaurant in London? And that would have to be uh, Rules. Uh, it's the oldest restaurant in London and you can kind of have these rooms that look like you're about to hold a seance in them. Um, they're really amazing and also um, incredible pies. Love it. So question six is, where would you travel to um once isolation is over um i think i mean obviously i'd want to go home and see my family um and have a laugh with them go to the pub with them um and then probably i don't know head to simi or somewhere in greece that would be really nice i don't think that's going to happen because uh, i'm going to be so busy with work but um definitely go and see my family Okay, next question. Um, what do you like about working with J.W. Anderson? This is question number seven, I think. Um, so one of the main things I like is the fact that it feels like a family um, there, in a sense. I've known them for so long now. Um, it's just this very cool very easy environment um, and, and we're always kind of really looked after um, and also Jonathan's pretty much the most incredible designer, he's amazing and um, it's really inspiring, you never know where he's going to take it next. Um, sometimes I'm just like where the hell did you get that from, it's so good, he's brilliant. Okay, last question, and that's number eight, I think, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> what's your number one hairstyling tip? 
have fun. Um, I know how important hair is to people, obviously, but you've got to have fun. Um, try not to take it too seriously. If you want to try something, try it. Um, hair grows back. Just do it. Do it all. Life's too short.